What's going on YouTube? Drizzer here. I have Matt Robinson of Kaijudo Scope here. What's up, man? Um, he just took third in the KMC in Southbridge, Massachusetts, and he was running a pretty interesting deck. Um, he was running Water Dark Light, but it had a huge nature section. Not huge, but... It was ten. Ten cards. Ten. So you want to tell us a little bit about the deck? Sure. Um, I mean, it plays the same as your standard Water Dark Light, but like the kind of objective of it was to hit some ramp. Oh, thank you. Uh, was to hit some ramp. And then be able to hit, like, oh, cast Skull Shatter no. before, before, before your opponent could. Yeah, <laughs> like, you basically just try to outpace the opponent. Um, I mean, I, I could go card by card if you like. I mean, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, um, let's drop it down. This card's just absolute ridiculousness. Tritonus. Tritonus, yeah. Would you consider I, going to two? Uh, yeah, if I could fit it. I mean, this deck's already 55 cards. 55, I mean, so there's there was decks running 70 cards here today. That that's general, true. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I never, fortunately, I was never at risk of deck out. Like, I was always in on the upper hand of deck that, That's good. I mean, I, yeah. a lot of the games I played came with deck outs, yeah. even at 54 cards. So. I decked a couple people out because I just had no other choice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this card just does so much work, like, especially after you hit one of your big discard spells, like, uh, you get hit your skull. Oh, of course. Skull yeah. It's just, it's just phenomenal. It's the greatest spell, obviously. Closing like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, his freeze effect is really good, too. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't benefit much from the water boost, but, uh, you know, a stunning characters or stunning creatures with spells is always good. Oh, it's great. Yeah. 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 There's a big player here today, I, definitely. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I mean, sold your, out. Your uh, Saracon's getting huge. Yo, Saracon. <laughs> Saracon. Running Saracon, so. Doer like, of work. Dynamo. He is so good. dropped him. Um, you're running two. I'm running two, and I right. would not drop it. It's, okay. it's really, really good. Um, oh, my God. Like, it just does. <laughs> Are you doing deck profiles now? No. <laughs> Wait, no? This, we're talking about the deck. Yeah. Is this your deck profile? Is this your channel? Is this your channel? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just stole CBH's deck profile. Oh, nice. He does like... <laughs> like... <laughs> He does everything. All right, so he's a finisher if he has to be. He's, yep. he's stall if he has to be. And like you don't want to kill it because it you're gives your opponent. Me. Yeah, three cards. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just silly. And again, it's another really good. It's actually my favorite setup. Like play this, then play Squillis. Oh it's yeah, like, it, it's like the progression there is really really. Because they have two big guys to get rid of. They I have mean, two big guys to get rid of, and if they get rid of it now, my hand's huge and your hand's exactly, nothing. Yeah, yeah. So um, I mean, it plays. So yeah, no, that card was probably my favorite card of the day. Um, the Squillus is absolute ridiculousness, though. Um, I liked like, it at one. Yeah, yeah, it's so, like, it just steals games. Um, it does. Yeah, like, it just locks. In, exactly. the, in the control mirror, it's invaluable. Yeah, like, you drop the Squillus, like, when they have the hand advantage, and now you're even, or you're going for game. So it exactly. gives you an extra body and if, a if whole extra turn. If you're set up, yeah, just, yeah. just swing, obviously. Yeah, um, the water spout is really, really, yeah, really I, nice. I ran it at one, too. It was great, because you can deck yeah. people out, just keep making them I did exactly. that. And drama. I mean, I made someone play a drama like four people. Exactly. Like four yeah. times. So like he just played it like four times, had like ten shields, and I just didn't swing it's, at all. Yeah, I'm not attacking. Deck out. <laughs> um, but then I guess let's move over here. Uh, all right. So I play a lot of discard. I play the discard. one Razor Kinder Puppet. I play yep. two Skull Shatters because I really want to see it early. Yeah. Uh, we'll, if I hit the yeah, we'll ramp. see. We'll yeah. see the cards that allow you to play Skull Shatter. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then like I play your standard three pits. I yep. play one, one Dark, dark Return, which is pretty standard at this point. Yeah, blade. exactly. Um, yeah, three Mesmerizers, three, mesmerized, just, three, uh, three Bone Blades. blades. <laughs> uh, the one Death Smoke, which I really like to add. Which one, a lot of people have yeah. too. And Suffocate. I directly stole it from Aiden Thorn. I it's yeah, we, so good. We were looking at it, and then we saw it in Andy's build, and we're like, oh, we have to run it now. So. Yeah, it, it, it's just, like, it does so much. It's great against the green matchup if they hit it early uh, or something. If they exactly. Go with locks like, you just destroy their birds. Um, And I had, uh, first of all, my deck, it's weak against Rush. I mean, I only I mean, play, yeah, a lot of these decks are. Yeah, it's, it's just like, <laughs> don't play Rush and hope to get past them. Yeah, uh, fortunately, did, did you play any Rush decks today at all? I didn't. Yeah, okay, and so that's nice. Either, so which yeah. Was, yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Um, the other thing, like this card, won me a game because uh, my opponent and I both had Andromeda out. His was tapped. He had um, he had like a sword horn tapped. He had uh, he had a couple things tapped. Uh, two Lyras, and I had two Keepers of Dawn, two Keepers of Laws, and an Andromeda, and I just. Played suffocate and cleared his board up. I mean, I lost a laws and a and a keeper, but or and a dawn, and but it was irrelevant I mean, yeah, at that point. Suffocate is yeah. really good in the yeah. too. It's so good. If you yeah. up, like, a storm it's so versatile. Um, three piercing judgment. The card is yeah. absolutely oh, ridiculous too. If you're not running three, yeah. I mean, like the synergy with with your keepers, with your Lyra. I mean, you can just do two? so many tricks. Um, I'll send it to you. You can put it on your channel. 
Aqua Strider, mana fixer and blocker if I play Rush. Like, yeah. and it's good. Um, like the power is good yeah, first cost. If, if Tritona sets more, he's at eight. So yeah, uh, that's true too. Yeah, he's yeah he does. Oh, I mean, he deals with Lyra's. Finishers. He deals with yeah, all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, and I didn't really. I, I mean, I play five blockers other than the Saracon, so I needed something. Yeah, to he definitely isn't more Rush. Game. No Bloom Hollow. I just realized. No yeah, no, I didn't have space. I didn't feel like dealing okay. with it. Um, I mean, it's a good card, but uh, this was to fix my mana. I played plenty of black. You, you ran. I play full metal lemon. I did run full metal lemon. The card was scary. really useful. Like the progression of turn three full metal lemon, turn four keeper of laws. Uh, so tough to deal with because if exactly. they deal with it, they're going to get mana. Exactly, they have to deal with the lemon to deal with the laws. But then they deal with the lemon. I have more mana, which is what I want anyway. Yeah, Lyra, yeah or, Lyra, or, or it's Lyra, Lyra, exactly. Like uh, Keeper of Dawn. Just you play, all sorts of you stuff. play your mana storm a turn early. Exactly. Just, just stop. Yeah, stop there's so drop, many. Like, there's so many ways that uh, crazy. Just stuff. the card sets you up. Um, I did play two bottles. That was two bottles. Uh, I mean, you're running a lot of big things. Yeah, I'm playing plenty of big things. I mean, it could blow up if I hit like a school at the wrong time. Uh, yeah. But that never happened. It actually happened like for the positive. I mean, you only have a one fifty five chance. Exactly. Yeah. The, the the odds are against it, and I I wouldn't cast it if it's not gonna like if it exactly. if kill spells wouldn't do anything. Exactly. So I mean, it was really useful. It actually won me a game that I shouldn't have won because I was degenerate and pulled out an Andromeda. Yeah. Stalled him out. <laughs> exactly. Um. Three root, traps root are root really. Root. Sta I mean, that's standard. Yeah, you, getting, you need that card. To the point where it's yeah. like everyone's running root traps. You need that card. Um, Even though Blocks is kind of dying out. But you, yeah, it, still though, it's, though, it's I mean, essentially another terror pit for exactly. most I mean, purposes. Everyone's running how many finishers? You're running six. I seven, play, yeah, I mean, eight, eight, nine, two, ten, ten, at least ten. Three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I played yeah ten ten things ten that had double break or triple break in this case. And then, and that's another thing too, like why I put the ramp in is so I can get my finishers out faster. Uh, so I have the two mana storms. Hit the mana storm, like the ideal progression for the deck uh, Crystal Memory turn four, mana storm turn five, Skull Shatter turn six. Like yeah. it's really hard to come back from that. Definitely. Especially because now I have eight mana and yeah. I have cards in hand. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Reap and so, same thing. It's just like more versatility with uh, getting the ramp if I don't have the mana storm or if I don't have a turn four play. Yeah. Uh, Andromeda, that so card. You, you pretty much, do you almost pages. always hit the turn five mana storm? No, not always, but I usually hit like one I mean, of these it, things. I mean, if you memory turn four, are you looking for the mana storm? Or uh, yeah, you it, if I have Skull I mean, Shatter, I look for mana storm. I look for, yeah. Uh, I'll look for mana storm a lot if I memory turn four, though, because it just puts me into late game, and that's where control needs to be. You need to be late game. Um, and then the light lineup is pretty standard. Pretty standard yeah. at this point. Andromeda, I, yeah, I, I don't really I don't, need to talk about that. I think this light is pretty much... Three Keepers of Dawn, I would not cut that. That card's we're, uh, way too good. Way too good. Uh, Laws piercing. is absolute insanity. This, card, um, this card's about, about to go up to be like an $8 right? Yeah, At exactly. Least. And then Storm Everyone's Shark, looking so. for them. If you're not running three in control, if you're not running three in anything that runs light, yeah, right now, it, I don't know. Yeah, I mean... It's too good. It does too much. It's it's an MV, It was an MVP all day. And, like, and then Control four, Mirror. Five. And then Control awesome. Mirror, it's too good. Exactly, yeah. Like... You get your you get your turn three mesmerize like you're on the draw or you're on the play turn three mesmerize turn four keeper loss turn five keeper get back mesmerize like you just won that game yeah pretty much I mean unless I mean, they get some ridiculous it's be a huge turn yeah exactly like they can't play their they can't play their crystal memories they can't play their logo scans it's which is a card shutting I don't play. it down and you have all kinds of mana right now. Um, <laughs> yeah uh, but yeah so like these two cards just like they're the control that's the control card. yeah I mean the, the one death smoke I do like I ended up dropping it last second to run Dorado which I thought was a card that and would be that, really cool in the, yeah in the and that worked out for you I mean for the most part I almost made top 8 so I, I can't yeah. really be too upset at this part I really like this deck though I might have to go test it thank you yeah, how, yeah, how, how is the matchup with Greed I like, actually really good Really? Uh, and I was surprised. Because I mean, you just outpace it? Or? I play so terribly against Paul, but, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, like, because you discard their dragons, like, they, you you don't play yeah. creatures when they have the Herald on them. Obviously. I mean, that's just, that's yeah, just I mean, yeah. So, uh, it's kind of a matter of, like, you let them do their thing, you kill their Nixes. Yeah, that's you have important. to, it's key. You kill the Nixes. You can't feel so their hands. Boneblades becomes just Nix, yep. uh, Nix removal, and then eventually, you, like, you kill their hand. You and then well, make him toss this card also works really well against against uh, the the green dragons because Lyra doesn't do anything to it. Um, yep. Like stops Harold. I mean, yeah, it, it stops Harold. Hyperspeed is going to be a little bit of a standstill. Yeah. I mean. And typically, this deck plays so that you ramp, 
kill their hand and they still have like six or seven card, card, cards in mana. Yep. Typically six. Nice. And in fact, the two, so, yeah. so you limit the them to six mana. That I played, and then um, the, you, you don't have to worry about emulator because yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, I'm never going to see it. If, and when I see it, they're going to charge it, so I don't care. And yep. then typically I'll do something sneaky like play keyword, don't get back and mesmerize. There you go. And then hold it. And then you, they, they forget draw about big it. Cards and then... and it. So it's removal for <laughs> Exactly. Me. There yeah. you go. It's just, just the threat that. Yeah. It, hey, yeah. It's like, Holding a memory, like letting your opponent hold a memory, is just threat removal because they're not gonna. If they don't have the mana, they're not gonna hold it. They know you're gonna discard it. So yep. Just so it's just um, basically answering cards before they even play them. Yeah, that's. But they can play them. Yeah. Uh, but it worked well. I came in third. No, it's, um, it's a really cool deck. I, I like the concept. I like the mana storm. I mean, it's a card that. The main card in the deck. I. Everyone wasn't, slept on. Yeah, everyone slept on it. I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. It's, the deck's all about progression, really. Uh, yep. It needs to hit. And which I think is an important part of the game. But yeah. But yeah, thanks, man. I mean, yeah, it worked. Really well today. I, I was undefeated in Swiss. So yeah, I, I mean, um, and then your only loss, your only loss was the Paul today. Right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, Paul is lost the Paul, and Paul might be winning. Paul, right now, so. Yeah, Paul's playing right now, yeah, so hopefully, so. so I mean, if you lose, you only lost to the number one exactly. player today. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's, that's well, thanks for the deck profile. Hope to see you somewhere soon. Yeah, check right. out on Kaiju yeah, Check out Kaiju I'll put links in the in the description to check them out. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you.